up, everybody? You are getting your daily dose of motivation. This is episode 230. So, that's a smile. Because I'm having a positive attitude towards a bunch of negative shit going on in my life. Oh, I have so much going on, and I'm not going to get into detail about all of it. I know I say I'm going to be fully transparent, uh, but I mean that more in the sense of how I'm dealing with things and uh, what I'm going through mentally and physically. I'm not always gonna go into full details exactly what all the shit is, um, because I already go on too long as it is. And uh, you don't really need to know all of it, but just know that a lot of shit is happening on the negative side of things in my life. And one thing that I've been proud of during all of this is how much it shows that I've progressed mentally. I still have a lot of work (laughs) because I think it also sheds light on how much work I need to do, but it is nice to look at the progress that I have made because I've been in the world of depression, anger, uh, just giving up, wanting to die, feeling like every single little negative thing that happens is the end of the world being riddled with anxiety to the point where I just think I'm gonna die from a heart attack and then I have panic attacks. So I'm definitely not deep into the anxiety, the depression, the anger, uh, the whirlwind of emotions. It is emotional. On my way home, I cried. I'm not afraid to admit it. I got a lot of shit going on. And then I smiled afterwards because life is great and I'm not just putting on a front anymore just to hide what I'm going through. And so that's what makes it a lot easier, is talking about it with you guys, talking about it with my friends and my family, and venting out what I can. And, um, you know, certain emotions that you have when shit hits the fan, you can't really stop it from happening. And if you do try to stop it, which I've done a lot of my life, (laughs) it is not good. Like I've said before, it comes out in horrible ways. So I'm trying my best to kind of deal with each negative thing that's testing me (laughs) and uh, doing what I can in those moments and holding on and realizing it's not the end of the world. Now, for people that are a little further back on their journey or maybe stuck and never started, um, I'm here to tell you that there is hope and if you work on things, it doesn't make the hard shit go away. I never expected that, but it makes it a little bit easier. And even just the tiniest, tiniest little light in the whole bunch of darkness that you might be going through can be (laughs) like what you need in that moment. So if you just look for that, there's always going to be something positive in life, something at the end of that tunnel, there's going to be something. And you might have to work hard to try to find it, and it might be hard to focus on it in general when you have all the other shit happening. So that's what I'm doing right now, I'm trying to learn from that so I can give you guys better tips on how to deal with it. But what I can say from what I've experienced is uh, in the past, if something like this were happening, I would just give up. And a lot of the times I would just make things worse by not taking care of it. It's hard to want to do the important steps to take care of financial stuff, um, just adult stuff. When you're going through so much shit emotionally, you just want to like give up on life. Why would you care? about taking care of things to make things a little bit easier if everything's fucked. And I'm here to say that that is a very, very, very understandable attitude, but does not help at all. And there's a lot of things that can be lessened, um, that can be just not as heavy on your life if you take care of it ahead of time. And it's really hard. I've been finding it hard, you know, with the stuff going on with my car, medical bills piling up and attacking me now it's like it's all happening at one time Um, and I'm just I'm trying to stay in the moment and take care of what I can while I can and uh, just be positive in in the pile of bullshit so it's not as easy to do it as it is to say it but the little bit of progress I have made has helped me uh, be able to handle 
this really hard amount of shit that is being thrown in my face. And, um, you know, I am sad about it. I am frustrated. I'm overwhelmed. I have anxiety levels that I haven't had in many, many months. But all of these things do not compare to the, the way I dealt with it and the way I felt when I wasn't dealing with things, when I wasn't working on my mental health and trying to live a better life. So just knowing that I'm trying my hardest and I'm working against all these things that are going on, that's the little light on top of everything. And so I'm clinging on for the ride and I know this isn't the end of the world. Not yet, <laughs> but right now I'm just living life while I can, working through the shit that I have to work through and uh, just staying positive. And I wanted to share that with you guys because if you're going through something and you just feel like it's the end of the world, it isn't. But me saying that is not gonna make it feel any better for you. I think working on your mental health and doing what you can um, while you can, instead of just giving up and letting it get worse, those are the things that I can tell you for sure will make your life better. Getting on top of things, even though everything could be overwhelming, and just working on you in the middle of all of this. Because life is always gonna have some sort of obstacle that is gonna come your way. And if you're unlucky, it's gonna be a bunch of obstacles like I'm going through right now. And uh, all you can do is work on what makes you happy. And if you have a lot of mental issues or whatever else, you gotta go on that journey. You gotta accept that you have something to work on and start working on it because you will see the benefits. I always tell you guys, I have a ton of work to do, and I do, like a ton. I am by far, you know, I'm not perfect at all. So, <laughs> a lot of work to do, but just the amount that I've done so far has helped me so much in the current situations that I'm involved in. So, I'm positive. Uh, I know mostly I'm positive, and uh, it does get to me at times, but I'm working through it, and I know that whatever you're going through, whatever you have going on, you can work through it too, and you got this. Much love.